Hello everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. Happy Wednesday. We forgot to say Cinco de Mayo yesterday. It's funny, we were doing shishito peppers. So spicy, well not real spicy. So one uh, of, they were 10% spicy. Yeah. One out of every. Right. I got only one though. I was a little, I felt a little, you know, I didn't get left it. out. You know, yeah, and, our son, and our son really, we found out yesterday really likes them. We yes. thought he'd like them before, but hey Siobhan Very and good. Angela. Um, so we're going to talk about a few things that is dear and near and dear to us and uh the morning the ritual mo and that just doesn't mean going to the bathroom i mean there's that's part of the ritual well so. you might want part, that part yes that would be good <laughs> it might be hard to get through the other parts yeah. if you don't do that part. that's true that's true he has to bring it to the toilet already <laughs> How, how I, I, gotta, I'll tell you, I think I'm just going to sit here and nod. We're one minute in. <laughs> yeah. no, I think we're 30 seconds in after the greeting. So. so I think the morning ritual is something that might have taken a little hit with our pause and uh -huh. our lockdown. For sure. Because m many of us, our ritual is to get up and get going, go to work or, you know, hit our responsibles, maybe get the kids ready to get out the door to go to school. Yep. And all that changed. So setting your morning ritual may be more important now than ever, actually, because... What's consistency, right? You want to create some consistency. Yeah. Because yeah. the days all blend in, Oh, right? my gosh. Yeah. I really, literally this morning, went, I had to look at my, uh, my watch to say, oh, yeah, it's Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we're calendar people. So yeah. I was just like, oh, it's Wednesday. So Yeah. And I also think that being in lockdown or... You know, when we're quarantined or whatever you want to call it, all the different, there's so many different words, right. sheltering in place, lockdown lingo, pausing. Yeah. Um, so anyway, being in your home so much and not allowed to go out and do the things that we're used to be being able to do right. can cause some depression or feeling low, feeling down or some anxiety and something that the morning ritual really helps with. There's several benefits, but one of the things it helps with is, is that. It helps you feel better. It helps out with stress level. It helps out with getting you going in the morning. It helps out with giving you a purpose to get going. So having that morning ritual can really set the tone of the whole day. We're not saying that's easy because there's there's stuff that's, you know, that's stressful out there. Right. I mean, it's stressful out there meaning our worlds, all of our worlds, our houses, our what we're doing. And we've, you've heard us talk about it before, rather than looking at something you can't you can't do, like can't go out to certain things, have to be, dress a certain way or be masked up or something like that. Yeah. Try to find what you can do. And I think what we've always tried to do with ourselves is to create easy things to do that you, that are simple and- Yes, definitely. And the Achievable. simplicity part, yeah. Yeah, don't and- make it a, Don't make it a task, right? I right, mean, right. So. And I think that when you look at this, making sure, especially time, now, and if, especially if you're feeling like the stress of this lockdown, that making it feel um, good, when you finish it, having it be something that you really, you feel really good inside, you feel peace, you feel like accomplishment, um, you feel like you want to celebrate about it because, you know, sometimes people set themselves up with these morning rituals that are almost unachievable or they don't right. necessarily feel good because it's the shoulds. They feel like they should do something. Great word. Should, and, could, although, anyway, but yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah so thing, right. if you, you know, these are the things that you really actually, you prefer to do, you want to do, okay? So that's going to help you out. So let's, we're going to talk about um, this morning morning ritual ideas. We're also going to talk about the benefits of the morning ritual. And we talk about when we talk about the morning ritual, it can be very, like Rick said, very simple, actionable steps. Um, Remember, you're designing it, yep. not us. Yes. We're just rec we're just yes. common recommending. Yeah, so exactly. This is really self designed. That's right. That's right. So some of the benefits again is helping out with stress level. Definitely. So it'll help you in the morning, just getting out of bed, realizing, or, you know, some people's morning rituals in bed. I've have, I, I have some patients who actually wake up and they do stretching in their bed right That's away true. because they have a lot of chronic pain right? and they just get going right away in the bed, stretching out before their feet hit the ground because sometimes they're sore when their feet hit the ground. I know a lot of my patients with plantar fasciitis, the inflammation, Achilles tendon, tendonitis, Achilles tendonitis, do this whole stretching routine and pulling the foot back and everything. Yeah. So I just, you're right. I just thought about that. Yeah. And they, and they, cause that first step when you add that is painful. 
painful, so they do this, so it's not painful when they get out. Right, of right. Yeah, and right. I know Rick will sometimes will recommend the foot roller, the little wooden foot roller to do in the morning before you get out of bed, and it kind of just loosens up all those tendons yeah. and soft tissue so that when you take that first beautiful step in the morning, it feels good. So some other benefits might be that you have actually, you actually feel like you gain time because there's things that you want to get done during the day that maybe you check off the list mm. in that morning ritual. Mm. So that can feel really good. It can lead you to feeling more productive. And I know that can be a challenge now. <laughs> uh, I'm a list maker, trust me, uh, both of us are. And yeah. uh, I mean, I maybe it's the OCD part of me, it is the most, beneficial feel good when I check those things off that list yeah and I don't put say put a roof on the house today you know what I mean so yeah you know, yep. I mean just pretty and, pretty straightforward stuff and I think with any ritual any ritual that becomes a habit then you feel like you're less likely likely to forget things that might be important True. to you which yep. is helpful too because you know sometimes you get to the end of the day and you're like oh my gosh I forgot to you know do my mindfulness practice or I for forgot to you know check in with what my movement might be for the day or you know just going through that list of I forgot to if they are part of your morning ritual then um, it can be helpful to get that done and that could be in your morning ritual that you're making the list of what you want to do that day so that you true. don't forget it. it's true yeah and this ties back into what Laura was saying about gratitude last week that you could just reflect, that could be part of, okay, I'm grateful for this and this is what I want to do. I mean, that, there's so many things that you can do yes. that tie into this yes. emotionally. Exactly, exactly. And the biggest benefit, I think, of the morning ritual is it makes you feel really good. It makes Agreed. you feel very good. Yeah. It can make you feel really grounded, which is helpful. So, um, and when you're making your choices about what to do, they should be things, again, that make you feel good and things that make you feel like um, you're, you're accomplishing those goals, like if your goal is to be healthy um, or eat healthier, maybe part of your morning ritual is to towards that, or if your goal is to move more, maybe part of your morning ritual is part of that. My tip for your morning ritual and planning it out and how I look at mine, and yours can be completely different because there's a lot of different ways to go about it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, People have you know five minutes that all they do is five minutes and they dedicate one minute to each item like maybe you deep breathe for a minute believe it or uh -huh. not deep breathing for a minute has some effect has some good effects you know so it could be something as simple as a five minute it could be a 10 minute morning ritual it could be however long you want it okay um, but if you make it into a five-hour ritual it'll be an afternoon ritual <laughs> crickets <laughs> All right, all right, so, 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 we're gonna stop with that. So how we, I like to s split mine up is body, mind, and spirit. That's been my kind of simple mantra throughout Always. all of this. Three years, um, yeah. And doing our week, weekly wellness plan, body, mind, spirit, morning ritual, I look at body, mind, and spirit. So trying to do something for all those three areas of my life and, and the universe and, um, looking at it holistically. So an example of that right now, my morning ritual is that when I wake up, um, go to the bathroom. See, I just said it first. So you knew we were gonna get to that. I brush my teeth, then I go and I sit down at my meditation altar, which I think we're gonna take a tour of later on this week. Mm -hmm. um, and one. yeah, and I am going to sit down at my altar and I'm going to take three deep breaths. That's it. That's all I'm committing to is three deep breaths. Does it usually turn into more than that? Yes. Oftentimes I'll put on the daily calm uh, meditation, which is like 10 minutes. Other times I just, you know, will do the three breaths. If I'm not, you know, feeling like I'm, I don't try to put pressure on myself to do more. I try to just get myself there. And by doing that, I have definitely formed more of a habit which has been wonderful. Well, part of this too, this just came to me with, re regarding this, she has done that for a while, is 80% of life, they say, is showing up. So like Laura said, sometimes I'll do three breaths, sometimes I'll do three minutes, sometimes I'll do 10 minutes. Yeah. The point of all of these things we've, we've tried to share over these weeks is don't, 
put pressure on yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. Keep the, it the pressure to accomplish, but just keep it simple. Don't, yes. don't do unattainable, as Laura started this with today. Don't do something unattainable. I mean, you can reach high, don't get me wrong. Right. But be realistic for your for yourself. Yeah. For yourself. Yeah. I remember I sat up at a, uh, I, I sat at a meditation altar up in our kids' playroom when they were toddlers. <laughs> And if you can meditate in there, yeah. uh, you can meditate anywhere. Right. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully you weren't thinking because, you know. Yeah, I was you're right, meditating. reflecting as I was getting a, a, a Barney toy thrown <laughs> in my head. Yes. You weren't but thinking. it was fun. His yeah. mind was clear. <laughs> yeah, it was. Totally. That's true. So, um, and then after I get up from sitting for those at minimum three breaths, I go and I do I miss two sun salutations. Just two. Two awesome. is all I'm committing to. But usually it turns into a little more because it feels so good. But it gets me there. That's all I'm committing to is the two sun salutations. Do you mind just a brief sentence of what that is, Laura? Some people may not know. So, what sun it's... salutations, it's a flow, a yoga flow that really helps out with loosening up all different joints, all different muscles of the body. And it's a beautiful flow that brings you from standing to downward dog to mat and back up again. So it really gets everything flowing, gets the chi moving for sure. And how long so, is this from standing to standing? One line is like yeah, one, not even a minute, is it's, it? You can do them super fast or you can okay. lengthen them out. But yeah, yes, okay. you okay. could do it in a minute. Okay. You really could. Yeah. So that's not a huge commitment. Then I come out and I do my green tea piece. And then I usually do some thought uh, processes for this and our Facebook Live. And here we are. So, it's part of our ritual that we yes, love to do. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. here's my body, mind, spirit. You know, I'm covering the body part with the um, going to the bathroom. No, just kidding. With the sun salutations. <laughs> Twice for me. Just one for me. <laughs> Two times here. I understand. I cover the body part with the sun salutations. I'm covering the mind part, some of my thought process for the um, Facebook Live, but also... I incorporate a mantra into my three breaths. So a mantra is like a positive affirmation mm -hmm. or a saying. And when I'm taking a breath in, I say teach others. And then when I'm exhaling, I say learn myself. And that's my ritual for my three There's breaths. There's balance right there. So yeah, so I'm right. getting my mind involved with that and I'm getting my spirit involved with the breathing and the meditating. So I've got my body, mind, and spirit right there, and I feel like I'm accomplished. And I actually just went through a wonderful little five-day um, little freebie class, if you guys are interested, with uh, BJ Fogg, F-O-G-G. He has this book called Tiny Habits. And book, which is it's yin, really good. Why knit Stibha? No. <laughs> oh, that's backward. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> tiny that's habits. What, <laughs> that's one of my new tiny habits. I'm yeah, Rick I with feel tiny habits book. I see clearly now. Yeah. <laughs> so tiny habits, um, really good. If you go online on, to his website, it, um, you will you can opt in to do the five day free little challenge. It's excellent. It's yeah. basically what I'm talking about. These tiny little habits, and. We will be implementing this and helping people throughout um, the Balance Life membership when they're trying to implement tiny habits, which means that we're going to go for those several days and then we'll be in communication with the person each day just to see if they've been able to um, reach their goal and help them out with it. And you've heard us say many times, I think it's an overused word I say to my patients in the clinic all the time, but it's really an all-encompassing. The word holistic means treating the whole person, and that's the point Laura was making, the body, mind, and spirit part. And we don't know what your body, mind, and spirit is. You do. So um, just keep that in mind, too, that yes. you're only trying to impress yourself. And I mean that in the best way. I mean, yeah. just you're trying to impress. Impress means do something for yourself. Impress it on yourself. So um, yes, if so you want to impress it, that's okay. But I think we'll all be better if we just... Uh, Laura said to me years ago, years ago, you are the most ritualistic person I've ever met. Because I have these little things that I've done for years yes. that keep me healthy. And, That's true. And I don't take ever take that for granted. I really don't. No. And so. I think it, it shows and it works because you are right. extremely healthy. And that's it's, it's inspiring. It's inspiring to our household. <laughs> All right. So tomorrow, cupping. 
Oh, Woo! she's been waiting to do this for Come a in. long time. <laughs> it's the octopus session. <laughs> we'll see you then. Have Thank a great you. day. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Hang in there.